planned cell phone tower in the extreme northwest corner of the Beaverdale neighborhood has a lot of people talking. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh is live on 49th and Douglas with more on the cell tower trouble. That's right, Stacy and Kevin. The city's Board of Adjustment has approved the site I'm standing on for the new cell tower. Now, it's not a done deal yet, but it's well on the road to being so. But it's a road some hope is a bumpy one. The city owned property at 49th and Douglas, where a fire department already sits, may soon also be home to a brand new 178 foot AT&T cell tower, a cell tower that can serve up to six different cell phone companies. Our goal is to maximize co-location opportunities on any new tower that goes up to overall minimize the total number of towers that are constructed. A tower that would mean lease payments and revenue for Des Moines. A lease agreement has not been negotiated, but it stands to reason. The more cell companies housed on the planned tower, the more potential money for Des Moines. Ultimately, there's a um, an agreement that says how many co-locations could occur on that and there are rates set for additional carriers that would be placed on the tower. We found people living on 49th Street who would have a direct view of the planned tower. They tell us they do not have a problem with it. I think that as long as it helps the cell phone service, I'm okay with it. I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, I believe it'll just become part of the, the landscape as, as power poles and things like that happen. But not everyone shares those opinions. The Merle Hay Neighborhood Association is against the cell tower. Jason Pulliam, president of the association, sent us a statement that reads in part, We simply do not think a cell tower of this type is appropriate for a predominantly residential setting. A different resident of 49th Street says all the work that has been done to revitalize her blue-collar neighborhood will be ruined by the cell tower. I'm terribly against it. Um, I think it's a really big misstep um, for the city. Now, there is another cell tower just about five or six blocks from where we're standing at Beaver and Douglas. The tower is apparently holding up high V's plans to build a store there. Now, the thought is the tower here could speed up those plans. I spoke with a high V spokesperson a few times this morning and afternoon trying to get an answer to those questions. Now, the spokesperson is attempting to get those for us, but as of news time, we don't have those answers. I'm Marcus McIntosh, live in Des Moines. Let's go back to the studio.